Let's tackle the closet first. Okay. We'll throw everything onto the bed that we're going to get rid of. Okay. And then we will see what kind of pile we come up with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that wanted to do I this. I know. I know. <laughs> and she's like, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Her voice is cracking like she's all nervous. Like you, you asked for this. Well, we're overweight. No, we're not. Well, I am a little bit. <laughs> I admit it. I am. <laughs> I can say it. I'm talking about the RB. Well, technically, we're not overweight. Not overweight as far as carry capacity. Correct. We have a little too much weight in the pen. Yeah. We got the uh, we got the weigh thing done, the the very detailed weighing thing done when we went to the rally. Yeah. And so they break down everything, mm -hmm. how much weight you're putting on your axles, the weight distribution, how much pressure you should have in your tires. It was actually fascinating. It was very fascinating and it was way more detailed than what I thought yeah. that it was going to be. But, and we did better than I thought we were going to do. We did. But we were a little bit over on the pin. We were great everywhere except the pin. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about that. No, because it's the washer and dryer. The majority of that is the washer and dryer weight. And then we have our generator. Yeah. Which is up in the front storage where the actual generator would go if they installed one we have an yeah. aftermarket generator but it's still heavy it's still weight yeah but that's really the only place we could put the generator yeah and it's, it's only the only place we could put the washer and dryer <laughs> yeah and so you can't move that stuff so you have to come up with creative ways to come off of your pin weight just a little bit yeah so we're gonna do that today we're gonna downsize stuff from under the bed we're gonna downsize stuff from the closet and then in the pass-through storage i have some tools and stuff that i could probably downsize a little bit hopefully That'll be enough to get us back to under our recommended pin weight. Worst case, it gets us to the carry capacity of the 382RK. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> I think, see, Leslie, this was Leslie's idea today to do this. So, I think she has ulterior motives. She's like, well, that we got to get our pin weight down. Really, what she's saying is, we got to get down to where we can have enough stuff. It's just a bonus. Yeah. If if it if anything, if we don't get off the <laughs> pin, at least we got ourselves down to if we want to consider switching, we can. I thought she was just trying to get our pin weight down. It's lies. It's all lies. <laughs> and she just wants to buy the 382 RK. If we were to move into the 382 RK today, we would be overweight. Yeah. But not by much. Only uh, a couple hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds. Which is nothing. She knows the details. <laughs> She knows exactly how much we're over. That is scary. That tells me she really, really wants a 382RK. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be focusing where? Here and here. <laughs> Nothing over here? No. Well, you might be able to downsize some shorts. All right, we won't show it all to you, but there... <laughs> hey, Leslie's hair. That's not getting downsized. <laughs> There's all of our shirts, all of our stuff. We got some cubby space up there. There's some stuff behind here. There's some built-in storage space back here, shoes, little baskets full of clothing. All right, so let's tackle the closet first. Okay. We'll throw everything onto the bed that we're gonna get rid of. Okay. And then we will see what kind of pile we come up with. Okay. <laughs> You're the one that wanted to do I know. this. I know. <laughs> and she's like, okay. <laughs> okay. And her voice is cracking like she's all nervous. Like, you you asked for this. I did. You want the 382 RK? Yeah. Well, I don't think you're going to get it anyway, but <laughs> we're going to downsize this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see about that. <laughs> Quite productive. Yes, it was a good closet run through. Yeah, I got rid of about 20 yeah. shirts altogether. Yeah. I think you had more to get rid of than I did. Yeah, about, I don't know, seven or eight hats, couple pairs of flip flops because I started exclusively wearing the Arch Fit 
yes. flip flops from Skechers. Yes. And exclusively the Archfit shoes from Skechers okay. because yeah. I have bad plantar fasciitis and it's the only thing that Helps. I can just walk around in. So, a yeah. um, couple pairs of shoes I got rid of. You got rid of a couple purses? Yeah. You don't sound too excited about it. <laughs> purses and hair, that's my. <laughs> that's your hang up? Yeah. <laughs> Um, you got rid of some shirts and stuff I too? I did get rid of some shirts. Good little stack over there? Yes. So all in all, I don't know how much weight you think this is. I don't know. I see. It's just, that's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Clothes. I mean, they add up. Yours are heavier than mine. They add up for yeah. sure. I don't know. Maybe what? Maybe 25, 30 pounds. Yeah, I was going to say 20, 25. Yeah, 25 pounds. We'll call it 25. Last week we did a, a downsize in the bay a little bit, which we didn't film because we didn't know we'd be doing this whole project. No, that now, was my just, I'm cleaning it out. Yeah, so we got rid of a couple of chairs. We got rid of a little table. We got rid of some horseshoe That's set. Right. We got rid of some heavy, heavy stuff down yes. there. So all in all about 50 pounds, I think, last week. Which we were only 425 in over in pin yeah. to start with. That, that's what we have to work with. Yeah. A couple hundred is going to be washer and dryer. There ain't nothing we can do about that. No. Because I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> so, I don't know, about 75 pounds or so already. Already. And we haven't gone under the bed yet. Yeah. And we haven't gone through my tools and stuff yet. Right. So, I think we'll I think we'll, we'll be there. We'll get there. Yeah. I still got to go through these drawers and stuff, too. Maybe yeah. there's some more stuff in there that I can toss out. Maybe, yeah. Oh, my God. It's getting serious. She's even going through her jewelry. That's how bad she wants the new RV. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look, when she starts getting rid of jewelry. Serious. She really wants it. <laughs> I've just happened to so notice. Oh yeah. That I have a lot of pieces I don't ever come back. I just get. so happen to notice that you have a lot of jewelry. I do. Period. I do. And it's it's not super heavy, but it adds no, up. It, yeah, but it does add up. Well, that is everything from the closet and from the dresser. And I think we did a pretty good job. I think so, too. Mosey's got my clothes out because we're showing uh, the progress that we made. Definitely made progress on your side. Yeah, not as much stuff up there. We only got one little thing in the cubby. That's my water shoes you down only, there. You only get one little thing? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, there's only a, a couple of pairs of shoes up there, and I got rid of both of those, yeah. so really nothing to put up there. And there's Leslie's side. side. <laughs> Look at all the hair. Stop. Well, for all of you who have been wondering, uh, there's all the hair. <laughs> Holy crap. And uh, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job there. I'm sure somebody will say that we could have done a lot better, but for us, this is better. Well, we're getting ready to tackle underneath the bed, but first we want to talk about a little bit of weight that we did add, but we needed to add it. We did. And, we did, for your sake. And that was our mattress yeah. from RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And uh, we've loved it so far. We've been in it yes. for over three months. Even though it, it added weight, don't regret adding the weight. It was well worth it. And it was added prior to the weigh-in. Yeah, so this was in here when we did our weigh-in, so we're not trying to reduce by taking the mattress okay. away. We're trying to reduce everything around not having to get rid of the mattress because we love the mattress. Love the mattress. We love it so much we added the pillow version. Yeah, we our, did. We got pillows. the pillows, and they're very nice. They're Loving cooling. The pillow. They're cooling just like the mattress is. Yes. It's got that technology in it with the little beads in it to keep your body at yes. the perfect 88 oh. degree sleeping temperature. So loving that. I wake up with less um, shoulder pain yeah. because of the support. Yeah. So it's all been working out pretty good. Yeah. And thanks to our friends over at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Yeah. And uh, if you want one, we'll leave a link down in the description. We can save you 20%. So just go in there, use okay. promo code WAGS and you get 20% off. Look, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a little bit extra weight, but 120 night sleep trial. trial. So if you don't like it, you can send it back. It's so worth 10 it. 10-year warranty. Yeah. Made in the USA. I mean, Can't it's it's, it's a good mattress. I do love it. So we'll take the weight. Let's get cleaning under the bed. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, man? That's all the stuff. It, it's chaotic. There's a lot of stuff down here. But, I mean, some of it is an evil necessity. We got to carry it. Yeah. Uh, 
there's things like our safe, but we talked about downsizing that. Um, we got the printer back here. The printer's heavy. I look forward to getting rid of this one, actually. That's a big, heavy safe. It is heavy. Yeah. And we got the printer down here. We got some extra bedding down here. We got, like, our winter clothes are down here. Winter clothes. So that stuff we'll have to keep, but... We have our motorcycle helmets and riding boots. Which, like, to keep. Yeah. It's expensive stuff. You don't just get rid of that. Yeah, plus we still, I mean, I can ride in short stints. Yeah. So renting a bike is still a possibility. Exactly. So we're holding on to that stuff for now. But yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get rid of. Yes. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here that we can get rid of. I think so. And the new safe comes in tomorrow. Okay. So, I mean, for now, this has to stay in there. But this will be gone. And I welcome this one. All right, let's get after it. Well, not too shabby. Very productive under there. A lot of a stuff lot. came out this of there. This is heavy stuff. It, it doesn't, doesn't look like a lot, but it's heavy. It's true. And you saw all the space that we freed up. Yeah. It was a lot of clutter. It was a lot of clutter. So we freed up a lot of space down there. Yes. We just got to be disciplined enough to, to fill it back up. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. I don't think is a problem because we don't like to go under here too often. No. So, so I think we get some good progress yeah. on this. We'll add that to the pile. And then um, now I just got to get in the storage and look through my tools yeah, and accessories and see what all stuff we truly, truly need down there. And uh, it just started raining. So it's going to be a few minutes before we get we'll to get that. The tools, yes. But we'll go in between that's Florida the, showers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to go through the tools now. And this is where I have most of my tools in this toolbox right here which is not too terribly heavy. When you're talking about tools, it's not too terribly heavy, but it is heavy because there's lots of tools in there. I gotta figure out which tools I actually use and which ones I don't. And hopefully, I don't get struck by lightning out here. All right, tools are done. I did as much as I could. Downsized some of my hardware there. Just their basics. They don't need a whole lot, so. As long as I have one of everything, that I need for the RV. There's not really a need to have a bunch of each of everything. I had so many Allen wrenches, it was crazy. And I already have Allen wrenches uh, that will fit any kind of uh, Allen wrench head on the RV. So I really don't need to just keep collecting Allen wrenches. So, and then the hardware. Bunch of screws, bunch of nails, bunch of bolts and stuff that you know you might use, but you know, you keep a couple of each. And then hopefully you don't need them. And if you do need something that you don't have, you just run to the store and get, get what you do need. So you're not carrying around a bunch of stuff for just in case you need it. I think we did a pretty good job. We did. That's a couple hundred pounds worth of stuff over yes. there. And we have some friends. Yeah. Got some sandhill cranes hanging out with us today. Hi guys. They're supervising. Yeah, they're, they're making sure we're staying on track. <laughs> um, anyway, it's never too late to downsize, no. I guess. We're always downsizing. And you should always stay kind of in a in a process of downsizing yeah. as you're traveling if you're a full-time RV traveler because you don't realize how much stuff you accumulate. Yeah, a lot apparently according to today's cleanup. <laughs> and it feels good to get rid of some it of does. this stuff anyway. Really good. I mean the space under the bed is crazy. That's phenomenal. That blows my mind the most. Yeah, we cleared out a bunch of space in the pass-through. Yeah. So yeah. I think we uh, are, I think are doing I... pretty good. Yeah. So okay. let us know about okay. your downsizing woes or struggles <laughs> or whatever. We didn't really struggle too hard today with getting rid no, of this it was, stuff. No, it was yeah. less painful than I thought. Most of the stuff we realized it really needed it to go need anyway. To go. So yeah. just taking up space and time. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know, right down there in the description. Yep. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs>